I'm 35. 35 is not 25. Thank God. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 rewatched Sex and the City moments. Yes, Aiden. I would love to live with you. Wow. <laughs> that makes me really happy, Carrie. For this list, we're looking at the most memorable scenes and storylines from Sex and the City that we love to revisit. What's your favorite Sex and the City scene to rewatch? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Dirty Martini Throughout the series, Samantha's presented as the sex-positive, anti-relationship powerhouse of her group. So when she does open her heart to love, we're all in her corner. I don't appreciate being kept waiting, especially when I have a gift for you. That made it even more devastating when her boyfriend Richard cheated on her. However, this is Samantha Jones we're talking about, and no cheater will ever extinguish her fiery personality. Samantha, I love you. I love you too, Richard, but I love me more. Indeed. He calls her wanting to get back together, but some things are simply unforgivable. She deals with his infidelity with the utmost sass, and we're totally here for it. No matter how many times we watch her throw that martini in Richard's face, we're still cheering just as loudly as before. Dirty martini, dirty bastard. Number 9. Carrie's Crashed Computer Oh my god. Oh my god. Carrie's never been particularly tech-savvy, and she's very much happy in her comfort zone. So, when her laptop crashes, she has a total meltdown, which causes a cosmic shift in her relationship with Aiden. Just hang in there, sugar. This thing's just faking you out, that's all. Aiden, please, please just stop, stop touching it. Stop, Hold stop on. it. Because you don't know what you're doing, just stop. The moment fans love to rewatch is when the couple visits tech support. While Aiden tries to bring some levity to the situation, Carrie is not in the mood. She tells Aiden he's mortifying her, but her description of the crashed Mac is pretty embarrassing if you ask us. I was, you know, I was just typing and then he came over and he kissed me and then, then I, I got the bomb. Not the bomb, you know, not the good kind. The... Is this funny? Do you think that this is funny? No. Just trying to, you know. You are mortifying me. The big moment is when Carrie reveals that she doesn't back up her work. When was the last time you backed up your work? Um, I don't do that. Hey, we've all been there, but we'll still audibly groan every time we hear it. Number 8. Harry Proposes to Charlotte When Charlotte York envisioned her fairy tale marriage, Harry Goldenblatt was not exactly the groom she had in mind. Do you know how lucky you are to have me? Do you know how we look? Even so, they were the sweetest couple and clearly loved each other very much. Their breakup was heart-wrenching, and we all hoped they'd find their way back to each other. To think I bought a ring. In a re-meet cute, Charlotte and Harry spot each other across a crowded synagogue mixer. She tells him how much she's missed him and that he's the only one she wants, even if a diamond ring isn't in their future. I don't care if you ever marry me. I just want to be with you. And it turns out the feeling's mutual. It's no lavish proposal, but it's straight from the heart, and we melt every single time. Charlotte York, will you marry me? Number 7. Aiden and Carrie Get Engaged We never thought this moment would come considering Aiden and Carrie had previously broken up because she cheated on him. I just need to be on my own for a while. Me on my own. Like Harry, Aiden forewent an elaborate engagement and proposed to Carrie while taking his dog Pete for a walk. Here, hold this, would you? Go ahead, open it. It's a sweet and intimate moment. Who wouldn't want the person they love to get down on one knee and declare their love for them like that? There's no one I could love more. I want to live my life with you. What do you think? As we know, Carrie ended up getting cold feet, tried to call off the wedding, and Aiden stands were left gutted when they broke up for good. If you don't want to marry me right now, you'll never want to marry me. Well, at least they can always rewatch the proposal scene and pretend it was Carrie and Aiden forever. Yes. <laughs> Number 6. Natasha Catches Carrie after her second major breakup with Big, Carrie starts dating Aiden, while Big marries Natasha. 
However, when their paths cross once again, they simply can't resist each other, and their tumultuous affair begins. It all comes to a head in season three, when Natasha unexpectedly comes home before Carrie's had a chance to leave. Carrie, I see you. Wait, I knew you were having an affair, but not in my house. She chases Carrie down the stairwell, but falls flat on her face. We've watched this moment a lot, but that doesn't stop us from wincing whenever we see the damage. Of course, Carrie can't just leave her there and helps her to the hospital. Still, it's a dramatic event that we've all watched way too many times. Nearest hospital. Number five, the wig comes off. Samantha receives a shockingly devastating cancer diagnosis in season six. He found a lump and I had a biopsy and it turns out I have cancer. But the way she handles it is truly admirable. Later in the season, she's chosen to speak at a benefit, but it doesn't exactly go as planned. At first, her scripted speech is a little dry, not helped by the discomfort of her uncomfortable wig and hot flashes. As soon as she loosens up and starts talking more like the Samantha we all know and love, she quickly wins over the crowd. Oh, f it, she's me. And if any of you are having hot flashes like I am, you deserve a medal. The moment where she removes her wig is inspirational and empowering, uniting the entire room. Oh, to hell with it. Whew. That's better. We go through so many emotions watching this remarkable scene, and it no doubt brought comfort to many. <laughs> Number four, post-it note breakup. What's your worst breakup story? And how does it compare to being dumped by a post-it? I love you, Carrie. I wanna try to make this work. That is precisely the conversation the show wanted to start with this scene. Berger and Carrie were a pretty fire couple until jealousy got the better of him. Although they vowed to work on the relationship, he bowed out with a simple and straight to the point note. One of the show's writers, Liz Tuchillo, explained that Sex and the City was all about relatable moments and finding the humor in otherwise miserable situations. Whether they've just been through a breakup or need a good laugh, this infamous moment is a go-to for many fans. What was your news? Oh, uh, Burger broke up with me on a post-it. On a post-it? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep. Read it and weep, my friends. I'm sorry I can't, don't hate me. Number three. Soulmates. Carrie's 35th birthday plans don't pan out as she'd hoped when everyone gets held up and she's left waiting alone. The longer I sat at that table, the more alone I felt and it really hit me. I am 35 and alone. You are not alone. After giving up and going home, Charlotte comes to get Carrie and takes her to the coffee shop for the celebration she deserves. But our protagonist is no longer in a celebratory mood. I hate myself a little for saying this, but It felt really sad not to have a man in my life who cares about me. Usually the strongest advocate for romantic soulmates, Charlotte flips the narrative, summing up the show's central theme in just one sentence. Don't laugh at me, but maybe we could be each other's soulmates. While it's surprising to hear her of all people say this, it only makes the moment even more special. We love this scene because it encapsulates their relationship to a T and celebrates all the best parts of female friendships. Well, that sounds like a plan. Number two, the fashion show fall. Carrie's love of fashion is almost as famous as the show itself. Do we like it? <gasps> we like it. <laughs> so when she's offered a guest spot on a fashion show catwalk, you would think she would be on cloud nine. However, she spends much of the episode battling insecurities before deciding to take the plunge. Only she takes it a little too literally, leaving Heidi Klum to walk over her like fashion roadkill. Oh my God, she's fashion roadkill. It's not Carrie's fall that makes this moment so rewatchable, but rather the message it gives the audience. In life, when you fall, the best thing to do is get back up again and just keep strutting and being your fabulous self. And that's just what I did. Because when real people fall down in life, 
They get right back up and keep on walking. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Brady is born. Just don't tell Miranda to push. Hello. <laughs> hey, Danny. Um, I was thinking oh. Brady. Brady Hobbs. Samantha Flyers, New York. Imagine if we could all handle breakups this way. Aiden to the rescue. Arguably a defining moment for anyone on Team Aiden. Let's get you up now. On three. One, two, three. Ah. Okay. How you doing? Okay. All right. Ah. Carrie and Big end things. The first time. They broke up a lot, but this one hit us in the feels the hardest. I love you, but I can't. So that's it. Magnolia Bakery. Have you sought out this bakery made famous by the show? His name is Aiden, and I believe him to be very cute. So cute, I bought a chair I couldn't afford just because he made it. Did he ask you out? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, a big finale. Final episodes can make or break a series, and we'd say Sex and the City nailed theirs. At this point in the series, Carrie is living in Paris with Alexander Petrovsky, but it's far from the Parisian dream she'd imagined. Meanwhile, there's a Carrie-shaped hole in New York and in Big's heart. With the other women's encouragement, he decides to make things right. Go get our girl. So in a grand rom-com-esque gesture, he goes after her to the city of love and declares his feelings for her. After so many ups and downs, it's so satisfying to finally hear him call Carrie the one. Carrie, you're the one. Kiss me, a big cry, baby. While it wasn't all smooth sailing after this idyllic moment, at least we'll always have Paris. I miss New York. Take me home. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.